if you've made a character now I'm working in Genesis 2 at the moment and you know you can mix and match and take somebody in, but if you've put together the, the body and you put a skin on it and you're kind of happy with that as a base you know Genesis 2 female for you to work on that you can you know alter the face or alter the, the body but you're always going to have that person then how to make them into uh, you know you can either put it into it's very easy to I've got it actually in there and I'm going to remove that one delete so when I go to the folder itself Genesis 2 female that gives me a choice of what I want but I'll keep that there what I'm going to do more is in characters where you then go to the ones that you've normally got then I right click and browse to folder location which then comes over to a folder naming all the people I have in my folder with her like that I'm going to go to file up save as character preset and now I happen to have it in the folder because I was practicing but say so you just set it up there and then um, you know what you do is uh, go to your where you have your your DAS library and it's just looking at these two addresses you know so I'm in my dad's library and then see it's going to disappear that's why I'm going to put it on the other screen for me to work off but you know what I mean it says my dad's library and then look at the top line um, go to people I find that if you copy and paste it doesn't work so well and well it doesn't work for me anyway um, it doesn't take that long people okay and I like to get to know my folders Genesis 2 female and then we're into characters so uh, jump into that folder give it a name this is 2 female alive I called it right because I've done some work on her to make it look presentable now hitting there save uh, don't need to bother with that well I haven't found the difference in it and bang Genesis 2 female comes alive right so now I'm going to take that that means um, from now on as soon as I open up my characters she becomes one of my characters to choose from okay so then we go to the point where you, you like to have her dressed in a certain way so if we went to the Francesca dress and I'll just um, okay so we can go back a little bit so she's in her Francesco dress looking very nice and say you know I was more to do with if you have ones that that's actually quite normal what I'll do is it's more in relation to when you have an outfit that's got all different pieces and every time you seem to want to have to use that outfit um, uh, actually what I'll do is I shall delete that one too because that's a surprise um, you know when we come to clothing uh, right click browse to folder location and here we are in our clothing folder and what I did was I just went down and I made a folder called my fashion right, so just new, right click and then a uh, new folder and uh, call it um, sexy fashion you know um, whatever you want that becomes a new folder in there but anyway in my fashion you can then break that down to um, outfit one so close all that off go up to clothing and refresh it and then we go down and we will have um, sexy fashion outfit one and if I with her there you could spend a bit of time actually this one was better okay um, I'm minimizing that down to keep it clean All right, so I'll put it there because um, I'm just gonna whip her dress off Woohoo, naughty okay All right, dress gone so each time you come to this particular Thing, you've got to build it right so uh, I'm gonna put the necklace on put the top on um, put the skirt on put the belt on and 
then go to the full shot so she's like that that's the outfit built now I'm gonna go back to my folder right sexy fashion outfit one I know it's a stupid name doesn't matter file as save as car uh, wearable preset and the same thing goes right find that folders address so uh, because we've done clothes already I'm actually in the right folder right so it's that Genesis 2 like I said um, people my dad's library so you're in your library right wherever your library is then you're obviously going to people uh, sorry yeah you're going to people um, Genesis to female and then clothing and then the folder that you picked so I, I did well I'll, I'll go back to this one my fashion and then you give it a new name so uh, I should have been looking at that right to be honest I don't want to lose where I am um, new folder we'll give that a new name um, oh, magic lady right but I'm going to fix that up sorry about this magic lady and then style one save and that says you want to choose all four items and we hit accept go back up to here refresh outfit one um, oh I didn't use that folder sorry my fashion now what I wanted to do was be a little bit more um, swamp witch okay so my fashion magic lady there now go up rename that to swamp witch um, except and then style one so if there was the uh, actually the beauty of it is I think I can just yeah bam. so easy to work with um, okay so my fashion I've got the swamp witch the style is one this one if I find that I made it something like um, Swamp Witch Materials, okay? And then I'll go over to Scene, go to the top, and actually what we'll do is change it to blue. So where's top? Uh, there's, a, there's a top. Skirt. And the belt. And the necklace. Um, have they all been made blue? Um, belt. Uh, where am I? The belt. Um, skirt. Yeah. Uh, what's I'm doing? The top. Sorry. Um, yeah, top's different. It's just the sleeves are throwing me off. They look the same. Anyway, but that's a different style, right? And so we would then go back up to swap which and grabbing that uh, file save as um, yeah wearable preset we're in the same folder goes back to there swamp which style one and style two and if you didn't want a particular part of that uniform to not be part of you know uh, if you thought no I'll, I'll have uh, you know the, the way that you can actually do it is if you wanted to separate things is just have unticked you know if you don't want the skirt as part of that outfit then it won't go here next time but um, you know if you just want a partial uniform and so we have there and then what I meant by that is you could then go up to there again right click save as uh, wearable preset go in and give it a name again of number three hit a save and then if we choose to uh, we're going to just not have those two and just have the top and the skirt except style three will appear and if I go to that then um, I think I might have to take everything off pardon me right she was naked uh, and the necklace and I've got it there and I hit number D she will just appear with what she had and then if I want to go back to and then so you can have basically a preset with underpants underpants and bra 
underpants and dress, underpants and dress and shoes. And you keep building up the person in your fashion, right? So that you've got styles, colors, all things. You can have, and then again, uh, in your My Fashion actual folder, uh, browse to that folder location. If you were to, I was trying to think of how to get a picture into there, but anyway, that's that's how to get your own sort of presets um, with your clothes and your tops, and how to. So now I can go back to. So if I cleared that, oh, that's gone. Then you wander back to your characters. Ah, there's my Genesis to a live woman. Boom, boom. And there is, and I want her in my fashion, right? Swamp Witch, Star One. Bang. You know, so you've set up your own system in here. So. Anyway, I uh, hope that's helped.